following the information architecture guidance, there's another thing that also helps us to scale and establish our, our visuals, which is the visual hierarchy. And uh, as the name implies, is how we give the users clues of what is important in the screen. Uh, and in this case, what is more important in the screen than the other element. Uh, so it basically helps us to create the aesthetic of our screens. Uh, it's super important for accessibility and of course our styles. So just to give you uh, an example of uh, visual hierarchy, how I work with visual hierarchy, uh, I have here a project uh, from a client, which is Zipmart. Uh, and basically, I have here like a couple of bubbles. Uh, this is for real estate, by the way. And we have here like state uh, sign. Uh, there's also another sign here for buy, buyer market, seller market, and I'm going to enter in, in what this means. We have the percentage here, we have the icon. So we have like a, a basic structure for each bubble. Uh, then we have the controls here at the bottom. Uh, when they're open, it's pretty much like this. Uh, there's another option here. When you select a state, you have uh, content that comes from the side as a sidebar. Uh, and here you can see that we have like state name, big. Then other titles, smallers. The summary title, it's bolder, although the same font size of the, the first. So like, you can visually understand how I guide the user to read my interface and then have the charts. Uh, let's see here, other examples. In this case here, where the, the client, the user can subscribe to Zipsmart uh, plans. So we have like, price in even a bigger font size than uh, the plan name, which is city, regional, or national. Uh, we have two signs here, two peels here to indicate like that the national is 50% cheaper and the city is $16.5 a month. Uh, we also have here color hierarchy to indicate that uh, your current plan is this one so you can't select again so it's an indication here that the the button is disabled uh, and all the other are enabled uh, what else can I show you here about interface in this case here again same visual hierarchy idea we have the current uh, in, in a different shape with like uh, an accent color and all the other options to filter, it has like different uh, approaches than the current. Uh, so coming back to my uh, project here, I need to work on those things. So I, I need to make sure that I'm guiding the user properly using visual hierarchy. Uh, this is next steps. This is something that will work uh, once we start moving on with these screens. And I hope you guys are uh, understanding the importance of information architecture and visual hierarchy, because this is how we uh, make sure the users understand what we want to communicate with our designs. And again, uh, keep practicing this, keep coming back to those lessons, uh, make sure you uh, doing your, your, your vision explorations, your visual research to create mood boards, you uh, identify those things so you can use as reference, okay? Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying so far and see you next lesson.